Hi, my name is Patricia Mish and I'm a career coach and I help my customers to come into their fullest potential. So what I figured out during the last 20 years of doing this work that 90% of my customers didn't have a positive self image about themselves. Usually it was based on their past, what they have experienced, the things they did or didn't do, the regrets they had, and I carried it all along, all this time, until this present moment. And when I usually come together with some people, new people I haven't known, I don't have history with, I always see them in the purest form. I think you do as well, because you don't have any bad or negative experiences with them so you you're able to see this freshness this potential their power their their positive attitudes in general because we tend to see everyone new coming into our life in a very very positive way so why is this we can't provide this for ourselves exactly because we are tied to emotions from the past from experience from the past which we think define today who we are and if that was a negative image i can assure you you will have a negative image about yourself today i give a little story about myself when i was eight years old my father was just about to he got an offer that he could uh, take over a business so we are none of us are now our family is business owner all of us were employees were hard-working people farmers name it and that moment lit up a new world for me and said oh actually this is possible for us as well <laughs> unconsciously i took over the image that we are worker we are a worker family we are not the business owners family and that light lit in me a light that lit a light in me <laughs> sorry and from then on i said okay cool and later on I was working for an international recruitment company. I did a very good job and I always thought I could do that for myself. Why am I delivering all that money in to my employer where I could have my own business and take it all for myself? So this image has grown. And after my world travels, I just did that. I came back home. I had two companies which I was interested in to work with. They didn't have any open position which I was interested in, so I decided I'm going to be self-employed. I'm starting my own business. Starting from eight years old to, let's say, 25-ish, 30-ish, <laughs> somewhere around there, to almost 40, and then I just jumped. Because then I was assured and clear that I will succeed that I will be a very, very good business um, manager and I have learned everything I needed to learn to handle it on my own. And I just did. And I kept it positive, this picture, until now where I thought, okay, I, know, I don't know, want to work by myself for long, much longer. I want to work in a team because that's where my spirit even grows more. I'm a team worker. I'm someone who loves exchanging with others and ideas and exceptional new ideas. So... I just found it. I, this idea hit me last year in March and then I just started a team which is now over 20 people, very inspiring, inspiring people around me and I love the exchange with them. And together our forces are so much bigger than what I have, would have been able to accomplish, sorry, <laughs> that I would have been to accomplish that is just blowing my mind away. I just had a company's offer, get out of my office, which was almost a million revenue. And that's amazing. Given the point where I thought, okay, we are a worker's family too. I'm an employer, self-employed too. I'm someone who can launch a business and being an entrepreneur it was a couple of years but if i would have changed that image 
let's say early 20 I would have just done that and that's what I'm encouraging you to do just look to what are your wishes what do you want to achieve in this life and then just stick to that identity you will succeed I can see that a hundred percent going so my name is Patricia Mush and if you found that helpful just press that like button and the subscribe button I'm going on to give you some further information about this journey ahead. Have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye.